as you see, the hyacinth, it's no joke. This baby cuts and it cuts well. And I will literally be sent to hell and damned before I pay five, six hundred dollars for a still or for a husqvarna. Not doing it. I'll buy ten of these saws first. So I hope you get out there. I hope you see what kind of situation I have here as a pile of lumber. And let's not forget, people. Let's not forget. We still live in America. This is the freest country on the planet. Even though, despite what they're trying to do with this country, never lose fact that we live in America and we stand for freedom and opportunity to the entire world. So, all right, this is Bri. I'm over here at the compound. And uh, we're going to do a little fluid filming this afternoon. We're going to do a little DIY on the fluid filming because I know a lot of people have been asking me. Uh, the situation is they don't really quite understand the fluid film. So we're going to do that. We're going to show you with a nice car. My daughter got a car out of Virginia. And the thing's clean as a whistle. So we're going to pull some panels. I'm going to show you how to fluid film and how to protect your car. You, the DIYer, can do it. You just need to order some equipment. It's not that expensive. And I'm going to show you the products we're using. And I'm going to show you also how to lay it down. So that the road salts that they try to uh, put on these highways in New York will not tear your car apart. Because if you wind up your shock towers and your your these cars are made with uh, basically unibodies, if the unibody portion of the car starts to deteriorate, it doesn't matter how well it runs or um, how, how you enjoy the car. It doesn't matter. It's It won't pass uh, inspection. So uh, we're going to do a little uh, fluid film this afternoon. But I hope you enjoyed the review on the Hyacinth. And I hope you enjoyed... This day here at the compound that we showed you a little bit about cutting our wood for the winter. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day.